Thoughts on using acidulated malt. Do you use it? If so, what percentage and how often? The idea here is with using acidulated malt, at least one of the primary uses for this, you guys, is it is a way to adjust uh, your pH of your mash. Kind of rule of thumb of that is if you have, if you can get 1% of your grist or total, you know, total grain that you're using in your mash, uh, if you substitute 1% of your base malt for, uh, for acidulated malt, um, that will drop the pH of your mash uh, 0.01. Um, and so you can just kind of do, do the math from there. Um, the idea behind that is, is being able to adjust mash pH without just using food grade phosphoric like I do or lactic like some other people do. You can do that. It, it is like a Ryan Heitzke boat thing. Um, and, and that's great. I personally think this falls into uh, a region of, do you like doing it? Like, if that's awesome to you, knock yourself out and do it, man. That's great. I use phosphoric acid um, because it's cheaper. It's smaller. It's smaller to store that than a sack of grain. I would rather be measuring out that liquid than I would more grain. And it's just personal preference for me. When you use food grade phosphoric, it does tend to be a, a bit more flavor neutral. I, I think that sometimes when using elevated levels of uh, lactic acid to, to be making pH adjustments, it, it, there is the potential for being able to catch a little bit more flavor uh, from, uh, from lactic acid. Um, I read something recently where they were talking about the, the compounds, the, the compounds, the compounds in the phosphoric acid, and I am not a chemist, uh, but the compounds in the phosphoric acid are actually more akin to some of the other compounds familiar in beer. So that might have been either on like the, some of the uh, Braukaiser stuff or maybe even stuff from uh, Bruin Water. Um, I, I was digging into some of their blog posts there. Do what you enjoy though, man. I worked at a spot though that has used acidulated malt and, and, and the guy just really liked the practice, man. Like I feel like when, when I was brewing at this, like when, when I was brewing at Rockford and I was brewing for, for Jeff there, the, the head brewer, brewmaster there, super nice dude. Like Jeff, like Jeff, like brews, like he enjoy, he, he feels that process. You know what I mean? And, and and I think there's something to that. Like he, he, he enjoys the process, the ritual of it. And, uh, and that's awesome. I, I think we all have to maintain some element of that. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.